I'm Steve from Hen and Hop Club, and I'm the proud new owner of a lovely custom Bailey jazz guitar. And I'd like to uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, how we came to design this and uh, show you around some of the features. So uh, Mark and I designed this about five years ago and um, since then I started paying him uh, a small amount monthly which I thoroughly recommend is a great way to get your dream custom jazz guitar because otherwise a man of my limited means would never have had that kind of lump sum to either commission or, or hope to buy something like this. The idea for this guitar was to take some Art Deco styling and uh, marry it with a very modern type of jazz guitar. It's only got a very small bend, 16 inches instead of your traditional 18 inches. A slim waisted model as well. Apart from just the stunning paint finish, it, it does have uh, one or two neat little features. It lights up blue. But more of that later. We have got a Benedetto neck pickup and a Fishman bridge and this is a stereo jack so I can take both signals uh, and, and keep them separate if I want to affect one and keep the other clean for example. Um, I can play the neck pickup for you which is controlled by these uh, thumb wheels underneath the finger wrist. <laughs> That's got a really plummy traditional jazz tone. Whereas if I show you the piece of bridge on its own, I play a lot of gypsy jazz in my band, and this gives me the, the kind of sound I'm looking for for playing that type of rhythm. So it's a, quite a snappy sound. And if you combine the two, um, with the stereo effect, it's, it's very pleasing. I've got this with a, an ebony fretboard, stainless steel frets, and a, a very flat 16 inch radius. Um, which kind of makes this more like a rock guitar sort of neck um, but that's kind of my background uh, before I go into jazz so I like a very a very speedy responsive neck similarly I've only got very small hands so uh, Mark very carefully uh, carved the neck to suit my, my playing style um, it was actually based on the neck of one of my favourite gypsy guitars so we've got a very wide string spacing but it's a, a flat, uh, wide neck, which allows me to play nice six, nine chords and stuff. With my little hands, that's quite a stretch on a lot of guitars. Um, so another great advantage of having it made for me is I get exactly what I want. Not your standard piece in any way, shape or form. I took some of my ideas for the Art Deco styling from the old black and white sci-fi film Metropolis. It also pictures of the Chrysler building came up with these rather neat zany ideas. So our tailpiece here has these blue inlays and it's a step design. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera but these actually move up in layers. As does the finger wrist and the headstock detail which took a wee while. There was one or two drawings before we, we finally settled on this. I think you'll agree it's, it, it's uh, very aesthetically pleasing. I think more importantly than that, it sounds tremendous. So to have uh, both my needs as a musician and also my aesthetic taste to be fulfilled in this manner uh, is quite excellent. And I think when 
I said, so the practical and the aesthetic can come together and work together well, that's when uh, design's really at its best. And obviously to be able to achieve this kind of thing, you need to be dealing with master craftsmen, which I truly believe that Mark Bailey is. He's uh, one of the best guitar makers I've ever came across. I've been lucky enough to play guitars all over the place uh, with some great people and I've played uh, all the major names, Gibson's, Fenders, Taylor's, Collins, De Cristo, Benedetto. This stands up uh, and surpasses many of them. It, it really is uh, quite a remarkable achievement and it's uh, a complete joy to play. It, it ticks the boxes in every type of level. You want to turn the lights on? <laughs> <laughs> They look purple on the camera, but it lights up blue.